Today I'm gonna to show you how to record your screen in Windows 11. Windows 11 has a screen recorder in the Microsoft Snipping tool for creating MP4 video files. Here's how to use it. Like and subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos. Open the Microsoft Snipping tool by searching for the Snipping Tool app in the search bar. Pressing Print Screen or Windows Shift S to open the Snipping Tool screenshot will not open the screen recorder. You have to open it manually to access the screen recorder functions. Currently, there is no hotkey shortcut to the screen recorder. In the app, select the Record button. It looks like a video camera icon. When you click on it, you will notice that the snipping modes and the delay snip on the right will be grayed out. Click New Recording or Control N and the screen recorder interface will appear. Now use your mouse to drag and select the portion of the screen that you want to record. Once you've selected the portion you want to record, click Start. You will see a three second countdown and then it will start recording your screen. While it's recording, you will see a red outline of the portion of the screen that's being recorded. You can use your computer as you normally would, but the interface will be visible at the top of the screen. The interface will not be visible in the recorded video file. On the screen recorder interface, you can see the video time code and you have the option to discard the recording using the garbage can icon. You can pause the recording and restart it if you want to edit the video on the fly. And finally, you have a red stop button. Click stop and the Snipping Tool app will open your video file so you can watch it back, save it, copy it, or edit the video in Microsoft's free ClipChamp video editor. Open the three dot menu and you have options to share the video file and to access the Snipping Tool settings. The settings, however, do not apply to the screen recorder and only include screenshot settings and the app theme for dark mode and light mode. Saving the video defaults to a captures folder inside your videos folder and will produce any random aspect ratio you capture your screen in. For example, I set my laptop screen to be 1920 by 1080. So if I select my entire screen, it will create a video file that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. There are a few limitations when using this tool, however. Number one, screen recorder will only support and produce MP4 video files. You could drop it into ClipChamp if you want more options for exporting video formats or to change the aspect ratio. Number two, Screen Recorder does not currently support audio recording. There is no audio recording for Screen Recorder, much like Apple's Screenshot Screen Record, which does not record audio directly from a web browser without some finagling. So if you want to record the audio from your screen in Windows 11, you will need an external recording device or app to capture and sync the audio track. And as mentioned before, there is no keyboard shortcut to jump directly to Screen Recorder. So pin it to your Start menu or pin it to your taskbar to get there faster. There are other ways of recording your screen in Windows 11 with sound when it comes to gaming using the Xbox Game Bar. The Xbox Game Bar will record audio and video, but it is limited to video games and will not record your Windows desktop or file explorer. There are some third-party apps and add-ons for Microsoft Edge, but just be aware of bad reviews for these apps and subscription prices. Well, that's how to record your screen in Windows 11 with the Snipping Tool Screen Recorder. Give us a like and subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos like this one, and thanks for watching.